Hey there, Scouts. Today we're going to be learning about tide pools and their role in the environment. Does anyone know what a tide pool is or want to take a guess? That's right. A tide pool is a small pool, or what some might call a pocket, that holds seawater separate from the ocean itself. Tide pools not only hold water, but living organisms as well. Does anyone know or want to take a guess what kind of organisms live in tide pools? Great job! Many of the organisms found include crabs, starfish, sea urchins, and algae. These organisms are left behind when the ocean retreats causing low tide. The reason for the rising and falling of ocean levels is due to gravitational forces as well as forces influenced by the moon. Why are tide pools important? Tide pools provide nutrients and shelter to a number of species who might not be able to get back into the ocean until high tide. One way to learn about tide pools is to create your very own. Here we have various materials set up inside of our tide pool. The first thing we can see in our tide pool are rocks of different shapes and sizes, all set up at different levels. The rocks can help shelter animals that were left behind when the water level has fallen and are unable to return to the ocean until high tide. Many of the marine life found in tide pools include fish, crabs, starfish, sea urchins, and many more. Here are some fun facts about the creatures that exist in tide pools. Hey Zoo Scouts, here's some fun facts about tide pools. Tide pools can be found all over the place. If you live near a salty body of water or a coast, then they're all over the place. If you live in New York, then there's a ton of tide pools you can visit, like Brooklyn Bridge Park, all over the Bronx, Manhattan. There's a lot of tide pools to see. If you don't live near a coast or body of water, then a lot of aquariums or nature centers have touch tanks that have lots of organisms that live in tide pools, so you can still learn about tide pools and see what they're like. Many organisms that live in tide pools like crabs, oysters, mussels, snails have shells on them to protect them from predators and when all the water leaves the tide pools they're exposed to a lot of wind which can dry out and kill a lot of sea creatures but because they have these shells they can hang out when it's low tide in tide pools. During low tide, small water pockets remain in um, tide pools called hollows, and these small pockets of water allow animals to still live in tide pools even when it's low tide. The last fun fact is that barnacles attach to rocks with a glue so strong that it's six times stronger than any glue that humans have made, made it virtually impossible to take barnacles off rocks. They're super resilient and they can withstand on rocks through huge waves and winds and they are super resilient and that's why they live in tide pools. What a fun way to learn about tide pools. There are also other things you can do to learn more. Scouts can visit their local tide pools to observe just how tide pools work during high and low tide. To make your tide pool adventure top notch and challenging, you can bring a notebook and pencil to write down as many observations as you can. Sketch out some of the cool organisms you find. Whether you observe the plant or animal life, we call this bio blitz. A bio blitz is when you go out into nature and identify plants and animals. While you're looking at the tide pool, keep track of the organisms you encounter. BioBlitz is a great way to learn about the many species that exist in tide pools and appreciate just how diverse they are. Remember Scouts, observing small ecosystems like tide pools while taking the time to learn about them is an important step in conserving our natural world and we can't do that without you.